だけにおとなしく嫌われやがれ Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the 3D ocean color stuff. So before this big tutorial begins, you must check the link right down in the description. You need to check it to download all the things that I leave in the description because I'm using a lot of add-ons, a lot of plugins, a lot of 3D models, 3D animation, and you need to download it so that you could use the project file as well as you know follow the tutorial as well and just one more thing is if you don't know how to crack yeah crack it you can you know i already link it the tutorial video link also on my discord server so that's check the link right out in the description and the peanut comment and yeah that's all you need to download it because don't dm or ask me anything like that i already said it at, in the beginning of the video now all right so hello welcome every every hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna let you know how to edit the lily <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> shut up 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 i need to make tutorial i am dick to get sick fuck Alright, so hi everyone, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the 3D model and how to make the 3D model animation, the 3D pitch and how to blend it on After Effects Now, in my last edit, I just put it one days ago and to make this tutorial, you need to use Blender and Element 3D It's a video copilot plugins So you guys can find the download link right down in the description as well as the free project file for who they, you know don't want to watch the whole tutorial and now let's get started do not edit goodbye <laughs> shut the fuck up you bitch fuck you <laughs> <Is it my lesson? laughs> all right so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna download the 3d model which is oh my oh my god oh my god Wiki is gonna go to Deviant Art to find the 3D model. There's a lot of 3D model and in Deviant Art, so you guys can find it here. And today I'm gonna use Grazi Kai 3D model because his 3D model it look pretty unique and there's a lot of things that's better than other 3D model artists. And the quality is still like looking at the same, you know. So here I'm gonna be take a quick example for you guys. So the first thing that you can see here, we have Grazik High 3D model. When you double click on that, as you can see, we have only one texture, you know, one texture layer here. It's not really much, right? And if you compare to a normal 3D models, it's uh, have a lot of different texture as well as that you can see the file here is bmx which means that you need to convert it in blender with um add-ons and it's gonna be take a lot of times but yeah in the future when i make more advanced edit i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the texture how to convert the file how to do some lighting and kind of stuff but yeah i'm just learning blender for one day so i don't really know way too much about that so yeah let's first we're gonna download the texture i mean download the 3d model so just go to deviantart.com here and oh 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 whatever <laughs> all right son of Diddy. we're just gonna shoot grazi kai which is a character name but now nah, for example grazi kai subaru yeah we're just gonna show that and as you can see it's gonna be sew up something like this and also if you wanted to looking for you know more 3d model this is gonna start grazi kai you can see we have fairy tale here we're just gonna click on his profile and we're gonna choose his model like there's a lot of different model here for you guys to use and it's looking pretty good as well so here i'm gonna choose subaru uh, i 
I'm gonna do a better way. The third day this is gonna be much faster. So yeah, this one. So when you've done this, you're just gonna click on download. And you're gonna have a folder like this. Here I'm already downloaded. I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit more about that. You're just gonna double click and drag this one up. So here I'm gonna rename this one first. Alright, I'm gonna make a little folder. Oh my fucking god. Here yeah, I wanna make a little folder so that you guys could know about that. Oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it here. So we just gonna drag this one down. And when you unzip the file, when you double click on that, we're gonna have four different files here. It's usually have five, it's also have the after effect project file, but I don't know what is the purpose of that because I'm not even opening it. So once you've done that, you're gonna open Blender first to, you know, convert the 3D model. So here I'm using Blender, Blender 3.0, which you can download it for free on Blender.org or you can download it on Steam as well. And yeah, this one needs a free software, so you don't need to pay any money for that. So once you open this one up, it's gonna have something like this. So yeah, I just learned Blender, so I think it's gonna be a lot easier to teach you guys about that because yeah, we all beginner. So once you open this one up, it's just gonna be click on the cube, click X on the keyboard, and just hit delete. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be import the 3D models. So this one thing here is when you download Blender, this is when you click on this, click on import, there is no XBX or XL Lara. I don't really know how to call it. So you need to add an add-on into it. Now here I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install the add-on. Alright, so when you file the when you click on the link in the description, it's gonna be showing up a file like this and yeah this one is a tutorial i learned it from oh my god i, I forgot this guy lame i don't really know about that <laughs> i'm sorry about that so this guy is denji aja he's already teach us about 3d model for amv in blender on blender 3ds yeah so yeah i will give the credit on the description as well so when you have this we're gonna download the file here just click download and wait for it so you can choose whatever you want to so when you've done that you're gonna click on blender go to edit preference preferences or whatever click on that and you're gonna click on install so when you click on install you're gonna try to find the folder that you just download here we have Lara Mesh Master dot zips. Oh my god, that's a long name. You're gonna click on this install add-on and when you click on you know you're gonna search for that actually. Yeah, when it's showing up like this import export XL Lara XPN import export. Oh my god, it's so long. When it's showing up like this, it means that it's successfully and yeah, that's click on x here to close now click on import import the xpx model you need to choose the first option here go to your 3d model thing i don't really know where the fuck did i put it here we go we gotta click on the xpx.xpx and we gotta click on import when you've done that you're gonna have a model like this you're just gonna hold the middle mouse to you know you can view around it you're gonna see it or you're gonna scroll it to zoom up and now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just you know export it to OPG. so just click on file export and you're gonna click on wavefront OPG click on that lady no lady click on the folder that you want to all right so here we go we're gonna yeah i'm just leave it untitled click on export opg wait for a little bit and we're done so yeah we're just gonna click on save or maybe i just gonna leave blender here because we're gonna use this later and now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to a website lemisamo.com this is a adobe website for animation ringing which out like you know 
you're just gonna go over here we're gonna click on lock in here i'm already knocking and it's pretty easy to log in so yeah we're just gonna click on login or sign up for free if you don't have an account yet so we're just gonna click on continue here continue and wait for it so when you've done this you're gonna wait for it to loading and you're gonna click on upload character click on select character file and choose the character folder which is whatever i don't know here we go so we're gonna click on the opc folder double click into that wait for it to loading and now we need to ring in the character what you're gonna do here is we're gonna look at it around yeah you're gonna check it around to see if there's any you know texture this is is just looking good enough for now and you're gonna click on likes so now we need to ringer you know all the ringer you need to place a marker so here the chain we're gonna put the chain over here for the wish oh my god rich whatever you just read it so we're gonna play this over here for the elbow as well we're gonna play this like this it's pretty simple and for the leaves and last for the dick you're gonna find where the dick and you just put that at the middle of that yeah middle of the post i guess yeah just put it at the middle of the post and we're gonna click on likes and wait it until it's done so when you done this you're gonna check it to see if that's looking good enough or not because you're gonna use your mouth just looking around and you can see it's not pretty good for now so we're gonna just gonna click on likes and yeah this one actually it's not gonna be showing up but i just upload the same model so when you done that you're gonna end up with something looking like this so now the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to find the pose we you have a lot of bows here you know as you can see we got a lot of bows here and yeah you're gonna choose your bows what is the best one as you can see i don't really know so i'm just choosing randomly so we got this dancing stupid looking one and now as you can see here we're gonna change the arm space maybe to 100 to have the space between two arms you know it's gonna be looking more uh we're gonna change it to three to make it you know closer but it's gonna be looking bad because you know as you can see the hand in a going like this so here i'm just gonna set it at 87 i guess because i'm just doing it randomly and for the frames you're gonna make it pretty long it's gonna be depend on the your edits as well my edit is uh, let me try to remember it said 20 seconds so i render it for you know about um about 600 frame i remember so yeah this is gonna leave it like this or whatever you want to and you're gonna click on download when everything looking good enough as you can see the dick bar look a little bit you know choppy but that's that's pretty good for you so just click on download for this for the format you're gonna use fbx binary for the frame per second i highly recommend using 30 actually i'm using 60 but yeah you can use 30 and for the skin you can set it with skin and keyframe reducing you can use uniform right here i'm just gonna do long you click on download so when you done this we're just gonna set the file here i'm gonna choose this uh to folder just click on save and yeah it's downloaded so what we're gonna do next is that all right so we just delete everything here until we have blotting app on the screen right now so what you're gonna do like this into this we're gonna click on fire import and this one fpx not xp yet oh it's oh i'm sorry for that click on material we're gonna choose the new folder click on the twist stand dot fpx okay when you click on that you're gonna have a little small thing it's it's even smaller than zero dick 
so to scale it up you gotta click on s on the keyboard to scale it up but just scale it up a little bit because actually when you import to element 3d it's gonna be look you can change the body that. shut up jerob or lady you're gonna hold all right so i forgot it is you're gonna hit s on the keyboard just to this one armature i really scared that you guys don't know how to use blender so i want to do this as bad as i can so just click on the model here just click on the model until we have the you know orange outline like this hit s on the keyboard oh my god oh, not that wait <laughs> oh my god it does this one yeah we're gonna click on the armature click s and scale it up and click on the right mouse right button and now we're gonna put this one up a little bit so that you guys are gonna see it is looking good enough and you can see we have a dancing model like this it's looking pretty good for now and also you need to take a look at the frame so that you're gonna know how many frames it's gonna be it's pretty long ID yeah it's like 500 but here I'm just gonna be rendered about 200 we got this one is at the tutorial so yeah maybe i want to set it at 160 so when you done the start and the end here we just gonna have something looking like this also it's gonna be depend on the frame per second that you that choose if you choose 60 per second 60 per frame per second you need to divide this one for example it's if it's 300 frame you it's gonna be mean that is the five seconds so yeah when you have done this we're gonna go into render render animation oh I mean, no 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 not that oh, i forgot you're gonna click on file export and export at obg what you're gonna do here is oh. take the animation one over here and we just gonna make a new folder click on new folder i'm gonna name it animation double click into that click on export obg and now i want to show in you guys what happening on the folder it's gonna be like this it's gonna keep generating like this and we're gonna wait it until we're done wait is zoom recording to yes ijala recording to yes yes oh i thought so yeah i thought so I live a women. What? Why? I don't know what. I love the music. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> All right, back to the tutorial. So as you can see, I think it's almost done now. It's 75, 76, 77. It's gonna be done very fast for now. So yeah, we're gonna wait for that so when we go to adobe our effect the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be import the sky image to make the environment you know so first let's import the sky image here and also you also need to download the ocean objects you know the ocean model as well as the rock model always right down in the description as well so now first create a new composition i'm gonna name it men here the size of it, the frame rate is 29.97 yeah and the duration I set it at 5 for the motion blur actually we're not gonna use this because I'm gonna use ISMB instead of that I prefer the motion blur from ISMB more than this so just hit enter now drop this image down you don't need to fit it or anything just limit environment and you just I it now click on new solid element 3d element 3d hit enter and now just add element 3d into the solid layer this is a plugin that you need to download it so yeah the trigger decryption so you just all right so jesus i just forgot when you drop the effect down, go to the custom layer, custom texture map, layer one, click on environments. If you don't have this sampling layer, just don't worry about that because you are using the lower version, but actually it's not matter. So click on scene setup for me. When you click on scene setup, you're gonna be 
click on file import 3d sequence and then you're gonna find the ocean model in the description click on that click on that and click on ocean O. let's click only one not select all of them ocean o dot opg and now you're gonna click on opacity for the force alignment gonna change it to bottom hit ok now we're gonna have a very nice ocean looking like this i just learned element 3d for yeah i just learned kind of this thing for one day so i think that but i still remember the setting i guess <laughs> so now first you need to add the texture into it so this one i want to use the glad texture from pro Sader. if you don't have the link check the description as well click on chance clearman and you're gonna use the blue glass this one drop it into that and now you're gonna have something like this it's pretty look like water now but now you need to add something more so it's actually pretty looking nice if you like zoom at it all right let me try to zoom at it as you can see it's pretty nice right but now you need to add a little bit of bubbles thing you know when you go to the beach look at the water you know it have some kind of bubble on the top of that so now you're gonna click on the lumbar bumps all right so let's see what happened with chain this one as you can see this one changed right but it's not really have way too much chain on that so now we need to chain the uv ribbon it's not a motion tyro so yeah 10, 10. now we gonna have a last better texture here i'm gonna set it at 51 and now uh, once you've done this we probably click on environment click on custom layer one which means the sky image now you're gonna change the saturation down to minus 84 to brighten it up a little bit or maybe down about like the contrast put it about like we need more contrast on that so yeah to make it look like water hit okay now you got something like this now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the model we have a lot of different options here but yeah they're just gonna change it as a liking the intensity we're gonna set it at zero and on the model you're gonna click on the reflect button over here change the mode to mirror surface and now you're probably done with the water so the second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to import and then we're gonna import the rock the rock also link in the description is just only one folder like this so just click on that and click on ok now move it out move it into the folder like this set it at 2 now the last thing that we're gonna do here is you're gonna click on default here we're gonna load the texture click on texture diffuse click on load from file now you're gonna go and find the texture here amv material 3d model rock and now you're gonna have three different images here so just click on the first image and yeah the texture loaded and just hit ok now click on glassless click on load from file to the second one here glass 4k click on that and for the lumbar pump you're gonna click on the last one but this one you need to click on invert y so here the yeah when you click on invert y you can see the rock gonna be looking like better look at that and now hit ok so as you can see here but when you're zooming up as you can see it's very pixelated right it's look not that good so we're gonna turning up the drop texture as you can see much better from now it's not blurred as you can see when you're even doing something like this look really fit to the scene so pretty good so once you're done with the rock we're gonna move to the next one which the character click on 3d sequence go to the character folder you know the one that you that render it and just choose first one um so far here oh my god 
because I forgot where the animation I'm so dumb so we're gonna choose it we're gonna click on animation and just choose the first one as always as always doing something like it move it out go to the last new folder set it a tree now click on this and now as you can see this one is very very small so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna be like zooming it up you know we're just gonna zoom it up you can see you're gonna zoom it up a little bit like this looking good and for the last group you're gonna go to starter bar physical click on the bow fracture move it out until we have the red color like this and drop it over here now for the bow fracture what you're gonna do here is you're gonna look at a rock this rock over here we're gonna unhide this you're gonna see we got the texture rock one drop into the bow fracture and now let's see now we have this texture over here so yeah you can choose whatever texture that you want and we pretty much done everything for now now we just click ok and yeah okay. now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on open we're gonna open the body.tg here something the new folder here click on that and now we're gonna have a file in body.tg just double click into that you're gonna have something like this so go to file i spot quick export at png or you can uh, you know Let's export as export as you can click on export as as well. It's gonna be f asking you for this, so just export and click on save. And once you done that, close this, go to this low form file, and we're gonna go to materials, go to new folder, click on the body. Now, what we got here? Done. When you got from group two, one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be turning up group four, turning up group two first. We're gonna be focused on group one, which is the C. Now, what we're gonna do here is create a new camera. So, here my camera setting, you can pause the video and copy it, hit OK. And now, what you're gonna do is we're gonna click on the camera, you can put it there, put it over here to see everything. Oh, you just gonna, uh, you know, zoom it down like this. Or whatever. Let's try to make it like that. So I prefer using the position here. As you can see, you can control it. And yeah, that's what you can do with the camera layer. so yeah so here we're just gonna click on the camera here i just have no idea what we should do honestly i'm gonna put it far away here yeah rotate it looking at this so now for the group one open group one go to particle replicator just set it up about 60 And for the replicator set, you're gonna set it to plane. Here's what we have. After that, try to set it at half so that you have to see it. And now we're gonna change the set scale until it's looking good. Actually, if you scale way too much, you can see the border between it. So you just need to avoid that. As you can see, we got the border around. So let's we got the C. Completely looking good. Yes. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be talking about the rock. Wait, just enable the second group here. As you can see, we have a little floating rock over here. So 
So what we're gonna do is go to particle replicator. Put it very far away. Put it up a little bit, bro. And we're gonna do the same thing. Then replicator probably about 20. And it's just gonna increase the safe scale. Increase the safe scale, you can increase the wide scale. But, you know. Oh god, it's not working. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my poor explanation because actually, I just learned it one day ago. I just downloaded it and make the first edit ever right away. And I, I don't really remember. Yeah, so the one that I saw on the intro. So now you're gonna go into a particle look gonna put the side random up a little bit I swear we change the side side random go to the body call rotation and for the rotation random this is gonna you know rotation random XYG rotation the Y until it's looking good until like this so now the next thing we're gonna do is the chain the position G position like this now we got the rock looking pretty close so this oh we're gonna spread it out a little bit more put it far away put this one up as well put the body cosine you need to check Ah. So yeah. All right. So one is cover two of this border over here. This is pretty done with that. So now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be talking about the enemy character. Enable the group tree. Click on that, and you can see we got a. Cannot even see anything for now. So now what we're gonna do is go to particle replicator. Just change the position G until you foul it. It's really hard to see, right? Yeah, we're just gonna change it until you see it on two different things. Actually, it's really hard to see, so I'm gonna try to scale this one up. Cause I forgot to scale it on Blender. Actually, if you still in Blender, you can click S and scale this one up. Yeah, this one honestly is just sort of fucking small shit oh my god I just forgot I'm so dumb not gonna lie yeah big enough to see it and now what we're gonna do here is on the group 3 as you can see we pull this one up make it closer to the camera go got it and just pull it closer put it put it like a little bit mate you know under the water a little bit and we're gonna change the body go side later don't worry until we got something like this go into the body look rotation for that we actually gonna change the side up a little bit we gonna change the oh my god change the rotation here the rotation change the y rotation so that he looking at this all right so try the best as bad as possible i mean yeah it's looking dumb not gonna <laughs> he looks so dumb but yeah, we're just trying to teach you guys, so I'm not really, in a, you know, trying not to teach you guys, so I don't have time to do the boats, you know. There's a thousand of different boats, so I don't have time to add to the hip hop one. And now it's looking suck as fuck, not gonna lie. But anyway, so now the next thing that we're gonna do is right click, click on Liu, Nine Layer. We're gonna choose Paranoid for the intensity. We're gonna set it about 700 or 600. Yeah, this 
about 500 to 700. For the full up, I choose smooth cast shadow as well. Click on that. And now we're gonna have a light layer like this. So, for the light layer, hit P on the keyboard. Make it far away like this. Do we have a little reflection on the water? Let's see, we got the reflection on the water. put it far more away just very far away it's like the sun you know yeah this one all right so when it's looking at this it's just gonna make the fog you know to make it the depth of fill so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be go to the render setting over here click on that click on fog and now before we make the fog and anything else you still need to do one thing I mean we make the sky so how to make the sky just put the sky down I'm gonna leave this one sky oh god and now as you can see the sky is very big right you don't really need to turn on 3d on this because you know the sky is very far when the camera move it's not being and the sky is just not really move way too much so I'm just gonna put it there it up here yeah, we're gonna do some color correction curve oh I got curve into this and teen as well so with the teen we're gonna set it to make it darker you know darker like this make it looking at like this wow already looking good and now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make the sky moving at like this I'm trying to open the edit which I don't really know where the fuck did I put it so what we're gonna do here is <laughs> I'm so sorry for this crap tutorial really hope it's not copyright music so we're gonna wait it for loading honestly it's looking bad and now we're just gonna wait for it as you can see the sky moving it's moving up it's have some kind of you know land distortion so what, to do that we're gonna add optic combination into that click on revert in distortion just make it bigger like 70 and we're gonna add motion title to make the sky moving click on motion title here what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on mirror edges and we just gonna move this as you can see now it's moving just set a title center at the first and title center at the end make it row about a few times it's gonna be the end of the speed as well too fast let's make it you know a lot slower cool Put this one down as you can see we got a lot of cool thing here so once you've done that we're gonna have a sky looking at that so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the haze for the haze we just go over here we just delete everything go to fill we're gonna use fill fill Turning it up to the color the layer like this and make it a little bit you know lighter turning it on click on the max over here make a little max go to the max increase this about 1000 1080 click on the B position bring it down a little bit as you can see look at that it's have the little haze which is pretty cool so when you've done this we're gonna make the depth of fill so what we're gonna do here is just throw it out to the fog here let's choose the haze and change the fog capacity up as well as chain we're gonna set it a quarter change the fog start distance and all this stuff but I just forgot to enable it. How dumb I am. 
and label it first as you can see put it back put it up and we're just gonna make the color a little bit like it's darker actually for range we're just gonna put it like this now we got some kind of dreamy look like this so the next thing we're gonna do is click on element 3d for the last one for the you know the flying rock just up and down like this Ooh, as you can see we got the rock just flying up and down so for this one we're just gonna enable the last group group four enable it and now for the group 4, we're gonna go into the particle replicator. Actually, we don't really need to do way too much thing with this because it's already at the front of their character. So we're just gonna go into particle look. Move to objects. Enable it. Once you enable it, then it's gonna change the display. up a bit of course change the randomness and go to the solder like yg this is how i make it up and down but before that we need to make it a little bit of depth a little bit of solder to make it more realistic you know also we're gonna change the size up random this yeah you can follow this one you can change it whatever you want to honestly so now to do this we're gonna click on the Y starter set this one in my look sturdy and make a keyframe on it of course and also don't forget to make the keyframe on the rotation random which i'm just gonna do art click in it that we're gonna set it time 80 the code also in the file on the project file as well because youtube not allowed to add this nano nano symbol on the description sadly i guess i'm not really remember honestly but anyway click on element 3d it you now just go three seconds forward put this one at 2d and finally put this one at my little 2d now the frog can be fly up and down pretty hard to see but yeah here we go as you can see the rock is flying up and down so when you done this what should we do legs we're gonna add some aurora all the stuff that you want to add you can like, add like, you know the overlay like this you can see we have a lot of overlay here here i want to try with this overlay put this one down solo it let's see where the part of it so let's put this one up also everything in the description for real just don't ask me about that again i don't i'm not trying to be rude or anything but yeah you know it's pretty make me angry sometimes because i have way too much dm but yeah you can add this you can see still looking cool or you can add multiple thing into that so the last thing that we're gonna do oh i, I forgot for the rocks for the keyframe like this i forgot to you know click f9 make it fast at the beginning slow at the end and add ismp into it to the layer i'm gonna set it at one in 100 to make some motion blue and we're gonna make the body code you want to just gonna add particular body cooler into that and for the body cooler there's not really much thing that you need to you know take a look of it 
is pretty simple we're just gonna you know boy to box the emitted type individual 1920 1820 5000 go to the side the chain this grab this grab looking good but you can chain all the grab you can chain it by yourself so you don't need to you know learn about that or the color as you can see we have the blue color here so we click on preset electric my favorite tassel next let's make it deep glow into that so we have the deep glow thing here as well as change the body code body code size 12 random 15 or 23 emitter um, and for the deep glow you're gonna use some flicker to make it look like a fly it does a fly oh my god my vietnamese i just bad <laughs> yeah it's gonna be looking at this like this nano shit here you know yeah i want to make something like this as you can see is that a fly no it's not a fly right of course so we just change it a lot more about two to make it extremely flat they're gonna be kill your eyes look at how bad it is but i don't care it's just a tutorial and also we're gonna change the glow down again a little bit the glow is like way too much because the spheres of the particle already look make it looking like you know is glowing so for the side i'm gonna set it back to 10. done not really you can decorate with some light layer and all this stuff into that just click on new lyle i want to add an ambient noise for the intensity of seven i guess for the color we're just gonna change it like this i guess it's still good so here's what happens when you add the ambient noise not really much change but yeah a little it change the line option i'm gonna change the color to As you can see now once you've done this it's still looking suck right yes you know we just have a little suck thing over here so let's go to main create a new composition here and now we just gonna select the bat that's we have the little aura writing so what we're gonna do is adjustment here look and now we're gonna add look magic bullet look download link in the description as well i got everything for you you know so go to edit and now we're gonna start to color correction it it's very hard right so sorry for this long tutorial i have been sick for way too long so as you can see we already have a lot of good thing here so i'm gonna using blockbuster worm see already looking good man look at how cool it is oh you can do something by your own probably it's gonna be looking suck but i'm trying to yeah if you're good at it you have creativity we're gonna change it maybe make it darker at the bottom and neither at the top you're just gonna fill up this one for the matte diffusion and you can add some different thing i make a lot of cc tutorial already but i think that this one is good enough as you can see for the mod still add diffusion camera we're gonna add um no for the lens lens destruction acrobatic edge chocolate flare destruction mylod 80 it's so blade probably put this on up a little bit just like this haze that you spot bill it's already too a good color for you operation 0 boy 2 by uh, 
my little zero by two by zero by two. I mean, we didn't try to change it. Let's see, we got a little bit hasty. You can drag it freely if you want to. Not really much. As you can see so that's pretty all you need to do for this and finally one of my favorite thing deep glow the pc destroyer shit but just look cool and you can see we have the auto uh, that's fucking destruction so i need to go over here just delete the deep glow in this near just make it only glow in this near better for now so also i need to check screen and yeah that's probably all you need to do to make this scene thank you so much for watching this tutorial i really appreciate that if you watch until the end and see ya in the next tutorial